Hey everyone, welcome to this video from Publish Press. I'm going to show you how you can set a minimum and maximum number of words for your WordPress posts and pages. First, let's understand why you would want to do that. The answer is simply Google. If you want to rank well, then you need to have a decent amount of content on your site. Exactly how much content you need to have is a matter of dispute. HubSpot, which is a marketing company, did research and found that 2,250 to 2,500 words was the sweet spot for generating organic traffic. However, other people have slightly different advice. Yoast, who make the famous SEO plugin for WordPress, recommend that you hit between 1,000 and 1,500 words, although you can go longer. However, Yoast will not give you their famous green signal unless you hit at least 300 words. So the sweet spot that we're looking at is probably somewhere between 1,000 and 2,500 words for your posts. That will get you the best search engine results. How do you actually know that you're getting to that level? Well, WordPress will tell you. If you're using the classic editor on your WordPress site, then look down in the bottom left-hand corner. It'll show your word count in the bottom left corner of the editing screen. And if I start typing, it's going to update automatically. This is my first paragraph. I have nearly a dozen words. Okay, in fact, I've got 11 words. That's nearly a dozen. Down there in the bottom left corner, this will automatically update as you start typing. If you're using the Gutenberg editor, Gutenberg will actually give you even more useful feedback. If you look at the corner, the top left corner, you'll see an icon which is labeled content structure. If you click on it, Gutenberg will tell you how many words you have, how many headings you have, how many paragraphs and how many blocks you have on the page. And so that's how WordPress will tell you how much content you've written. But if you have a busy site with lots of people writing, or perhaps you just want to add some discipline to yourself, if you want to make sure that all your content is in between a minimum and maximum number of words, then one good approach you can take is to use the content checklist add-on for Publish Press. How this works is you can have a checklist setting where you can define all sorts of different actions that you're going to require your writers to take. For example, you can choose to ask your writers to create a certain number of categories, a certain number of tags, or a certain number of words. In this instance, we have a minimum of 100 and a maximum of 900 words. If we're going to take the advice of the Yoast plugin, we should probably set that to a minimum of at least 300. And if you go to write content on this site, if you have the content checklist add-on installed on your site, you're going to see on the right-hand side a checklist which is automatically updated. So we have some dummy text in here at the moment. And let me see, okay, we have 172 words in here. I'm going to copy paste this dummy content. Okay, 298, 361, and there we go. The content checklist has automatically figured out how many words I have, and it's made sure that we're between 300 and 900 words, which is what we had in the settings. If you happen to have too few words, you'll see that the red X is returned. And depending on the settings you choose in the plugin, you may not be able to publish the content or it may produce a warning for you. So hopefully that's an explanation of why you would want to set a maximum or minimum number of words in WordPress and how you can do it using the WordPress core, either in the normal editor or Gutenberg, or using the very flexible and powerful content checklist add-on for PublishPress. 